Grand Rising. As you can see, you're looking at one of my uh, grow tents that I have converted into a earthworm farm. And I've been doing this. I have two more tents. I'm going to do the same thing to here in my garage. I have a nice size garage. I have a two car garage and plenty of space. So I'm um, putting three of my large earthworm farms into these greenhouses, grow rooms, because uh, for two, um, you can control the environment a whole lot better for the worms than being outside. For one, I should say, and two, um, you get if you control the weather environment, you get more worms breeding and you get more worm castings. And uh, three, you don't have to worry about pests um, getting into your worm bins. Uh, such as so soldier fly, I really don't soldier fly larva. I really don't matter. I really don't mind because they help compost the uh, vegetable waste that you put into your worm bins. But it's the other things that I, that uh, pests that get in there. You know, sometimes you know you have you have pests. You have possums. You have raccoons. You have uh, all those things that love eating worms, earthworms. <laughs> you know, so. Um, I haven't really had that problem a whole lot, um, but my, my, my other problem was is the environment. Uh, when the earthworm bins are outside, they're, they're uh, in the environment. So if you get a cold spell, uh, it could kill your worm, especially uh, or, um, um, the African night crawlers have to be warm. And certain other warm species, uh, warm species uh, need warm weather. So... And then when it gets below a certain temperature, your earthworms stop eating. They stop eating. So this is the reason why it's always better to have an earthworm form indoors. So, you know, I have several grow tents that were sitting around and I, that weren't being used. This is one of them. One of the three I wasn't using to grow vegetables and fruit in. And uh, so I decided, hey, I'll just bring my cut in half IBC tote earthworm forms indoors. And that's what I've done. And this one is the first one that I brought indoors. And this one has been doing great. And, uh, you know, no problems at all. The worms are breeding more, eating more, and uh, making more earthworm castings. And I can make more earthworm tea. And uh, as you can see, this is how I set up all my earthworm forms. Um, oxygen exchange is very important inside your earthworm earthworm forms. That's why I like to have open earthworm forms. I have a light above. The light is for two purposes. The main purposes of the light is to keep the worms in the bin. I never had a problem with worms coming out of these large bins because normally when you have earthworms coming out of large bins, it's because your bin has gone anaerobic, meaning there's too much, too much uh, uh, vegetable waste in the bin and it's heating up and it's causing the worms to escape. When you have plenty of oxygen flow, that heat from the action of the uh, microbial bacteria, uh, macro bacteria eating the paper waste and the worms eating the paper waste and vegetable waste, that heat can escape. It can escape out the top. So you don't have that issue really. And if you're not putting too much, you know, you have to, you can't overfeed your worms. Because if you go overfeed your earthworms, the material will decay uh, before the worms can eat it. And that creates heat. Because as waste breaks down, I shouldn't say waste, as vegetable matter breaks down, it produces heat. So you don't want that. So you want the worms, you want it to break down enough so the worms can eat it and the good bacteria can eat it, but you don't want it to break down before they can eat it because then your, your bin will go, go, go uh, anaerobic. So today I'm going to be adding some uh, carbon into this bin. My carbon is going to be straight cardboard from all my Amazon boxes. I haven't thrown an Amazon box away in three years. Believe it or not, people, my earthworms eat all, eat all of it. And in, in this worm, I mean, in this bin, worm bin, I have oak leaves, 
straighted cardboard and I feed and I add a little bit of used coffee grounds all the time and I also add all those eggs all those eggs I eat I dry them out in the sun and I grind them up in a grinder and uh, to a powder and I spread this all over the uh, earthworm bin because they eat the crust egg cells too it gives them earthworms need grit in their digestive system they also need calcium so and some other minerals all the other minerals that are in these egg shells so that's all i feed my worms so in vegetable waste from the food straps and so forth but as you can see i have very very large earthworm bins so you says well did you eat that many vegetables and all that well i do i eat a lot of vegetables and fruit but my firms are getting so they're getting my worm population is growing so much that i actually uh I actually get um, vegetable waste from grocery stores too. You know, I said, hey, whatever you throw away, you know, give me a box of what you're going to throw away, vegetable waste. And I throw that into my worm bins too. So, also. So, this is how I get my worm tea. Well, some of my worm tea. This is worm leach it. And uh, it drains here and into, into there. And that's worm leach it that I can turn into worm tea. Or I'll take castings out of this and put it in a filter bag. And I'll soak the castings in a, a five-gallon bucket with an air stone and add rainwater. Um, not chlorinated water because chlorinated water kills uh, uh, micro and macro uh, bacteria. So you always want to use rainwater. And I'll add some maple syrup or honey. And that's how I make my worm tea. And I'll area, uh, put an air stone in there attached to an air pump and I aerate that for about two days and that's how I make my worm tea. So here I'm just going to add some carbon to this worm bin and my carbon is more more uh, uh, cardboard. So it's ready cardboard. I'm going to put this back and I'm going to show you how I do this. And I'm going to show you some of the earthworms in here, too. And there's not thousands. There's millions of worms in here. Look at that. There's millions of worms in here. Eating and doing their thing, as you can see. Happy worms. So, this bin's a little bit wet. So, I'm going to add my... First of all, I'm going to add some uh, some of my uh, ground up eggshells here. I'm going to put this down for a second. And I'm just going to add it on there like that. Nice little layer. And the worms will, worms will eat that along with everything else. Nice little feeding. Then I'll take my shredded cardboard from my micro shredder and I'll just put it up above like that. And this helps absorb the extra moisture too in the worm bin. You have too much moisture. Just like that. And if I had some used coffee grounds, I don't. I just added some last week, so I would put that on here too. And that's it. And then I'll cover it back up with the burlap. And purpose of the burlap, the burlap is great to use as a covering for your worm forms. Because for one, it's plant-based, it's burlap, it's biodegradable. The worms actually eat this over time you have to add another one but it also has it allows airflow and, and it, but it doesn't allow light to get in so the worms earthworms don't like light so that's why it's covered with burlap but also if you have your worm from outside it'll keep pests out so this is a quick quick video of how to produce some of your or all of your uh, 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 organic fertilizer as far as worm castings for your food forest, for your garden, mini gardens, 
Oh, and, and to compost. Not don't throw that away. Don't throw. There's no such thing as waste. Everything we have can be recycled, from our food to to, to everything. So um, instead of throwing those vegetables away and your boxes away, sort of worm form if you're gardening, and then your worms will eat your waste. They'll eat your used cardboard. Your used cardboard. They'll eat your coffee grounds. They'll eat all your vegetable waste. They'll eat your, your eggs, your eggshells. They'll eat all that and turn it into good organic earthworm castings. Some of the best fertilizer known to man on earth. Organic fertilizer. Till next time.